Lads, EA just dropped it like it's hot. It's currently 12.30 a.m. right now for me. And EA just dropped this tweet. All you need to know about division rivals and weekend league and how they work in FIFA 19. Now, the initial photo says earn foot champions points in both division rivals and the weekend league to qualify. Play up to 30 matches during weekend league with the same level of rewards. So it's been reduced to 30 matches now, which is... <laughs> Finally, they've reduced the games. How many times have we asked for this? How many times have we been asking for reduced games? And finally, they've reduced the games to 30 games. He says, weekly reward player picks replace monthly rewards. as a new way to get the foot champion reward items, which is amazing as well, in my opinion. And earn weekly score in every foot champions match to improve your rank in division rivals. Let's check it out. So... We start off with the Foot Champions overview. When we designed Foot Champions Weekend League, we had some key goals in mind. We wanted to place uh, a best for the best in foot to compete for the best rewards available in game. Additionally, we aim to find some of the very best foot players out there to invite them to our competitive gaming events. <clears throat> It's late, by the way. I'm tired. I apologize. I'll butcher everything. With those goals in mind, we wanted to announce that Foot Champions Weekend League is going to benefit uh, from some of the new exciting changes in FIFA 19. The qualification now will go from uh, Division Rivals. It gives us an opportunity to improve Weekend League qualification. In Foot 19, we're introducing Foot Champions Point as a part of Division Rivals. Every game you play will take you one step closer to qualifying for the Weekend League using these points. The number of foot champions points earned for each game is dependent on your performance and current division. The better you play, the more points you earn, and each division has a multiplier on your foot champs points, so the higher division you are in, the faster you rack up points. Instead of the high pressure daily knockout tournaments, the new qualification system, three rivals will give more, players more of a chance to compete. Plus, every game in, in qualification sorry, uh, also helps you earn rewards as a part of the division rivals weekly competitions. Essentially, you'll gain points and you get to put those points towards a weekend league token and then you get to access a weekend league. And it's the only way to call, uh, qualify and the points obviously stack up so you can just keep trying and trying until you reach that. I think it's 2,000 points to qualify. Um, and another change to that, the new foot champions points system allows us to make it is giving you greater choice over when you play the weekend league in foot 18 when you want a dkt you immediately qualify for the weekend league starting that friday the new point system allows you to choose when you want to play once you've earned the points to qualify you can redeem them immediately or you can hold on to them and redeem them at a later date which is great if you can't play that current weekend you can save it for like the weekend after now with requalification, the Foot Champions point system also allows us to change how the Weekend League requalification works. Last January, we dropped the number of wins required to requalify from 18 to 11. In Foot 19, we've built on this approach by granting Foot Champions points based on performance in the Weekend League, starting at tiers with 11 wins or more. The rewards earned will include the full amount of points required to join another Weekend League. Additionally, every tier below 11 wins also includes some points that will get you closer to attempting uh, to qualify for another Weekend League. And then we get on to the good stuff. Division Rivals is a brand new way to play Foot 19. We already know about that. When designing Division Rivals, it was important for us to make sure that both Rivals and Champions complemented each other and enriching the experience for both modes. One of the key goals was ensuring that players didn't feel personalized for playing champions over rivals or vice versa. With the likelihood of coming up against tougher opponents in the weekend league, we wanted to ensure that your skill rating, which determines your divi uh, division in rivals, sorry, remained unaffected by the matches you play in weekend league. Essentially, like it's trying to isolate the uh, the the ranking system in division rivals. And whilst your skill rating remains unaffected by playing the weekend league, each game played will earn some weekly score in division rivals, helping you improve your standing in the weekly competition. That means every game you play in the weekend league contributing to unlocking rewards in the weekend league and division rivals so you know they work hand in hand but also the ranking system is isolated which i think is great now the total games required has dropped to 30 games during the weekend league which hallelujah thank you game holy crap it's been it's been difficult to to, to play 40 games over the weekend 30 finally is that is that beautiful beautiful uh, i think number that is just perfect for us i'm so glad they finally dropped it um while reducing the number of games for PlayStation and Xbox One players in each weekend league from 40 to 30, we'll maintain the same level of rewards every week per tier, ensuring that the weekend league continues to be the place where you can earn the best rewards in foot. Increasing the maximum number of games 25 to 30 for foot champions on PC will, for the first time, allow players to earn the same level of rewards when playing the weekend league as console players. At foot reveal, we announced the inclusion of player picks, giving players more choice over the content which they want to build their dream squad. Weekly reward player picks will be replacing the monthly reward packs from Foot 18, which is interesting. No more monthly reward packs, giving you a chance to uh, choose between which Red Foot Champs player items you want to add to your squad. 
which is fantastic in my opinion. And with the changes to the weekend league qualification, which give you a greater choice over when you play, it only felt natural to change the monthly rewards and make sure you earn the right level of rewards for the weekends that you play and do play in, and not personalized for the weekends that you don't play in. In the matchmaking, there's been some confusion regarding matchmaking in Foot Champions in the past, so we wanted to provide some insight and explain the system. Uh, the first important goal for Foot Champions is to ensure that every weekend is a clean slate for players to compete for wins and rewards. To do this, we use something called form as a key driver for matchmaking in Weekend League. Everyone starts each weekend fresh from zero, moving up or down in each win or loss. In football terms, match form of WLWWW would result in a plus three form. Players with similar form are then paired in matchmaking, which is interesting. The result in that players that are better than average in the Weekend League which is already a very skilled group of players, will quickly boost their form. Only the best of the best can consistently beat players in high form and attain elite and top 100 rewards. Now, the Champs channel, I don't really watch the Champs channel, but they've introduced it for the PlayStation, uh, Xbox, and PC for Foot 18, and in Foot 19 to help you learn from the top 100 finishes every week on the Champions. Uh, one of the major changes we're making to the Champs channel is the addition of controller inputs, which allows you to see the buttons that players are pressing. That's very interesting, in my opinion. Um... On top of button inputs, we've also included the ability to skip between stoppages in a play, replay, and jump ahead. That's pretty cool. So you have like a replay mode now, which is great. Uh, we're excited for the fo uh, future develop. Uh, uh, sorry, the we're excited for the future weekend league of foot, especially including division rivals and new qualification system. It's shaping up to be a great year for online play, dude. This is so exciting. Now, if you guys didn't know the reward system, it's changed, and I can go through the rewards quickly for you. So here we have it. Now this is the top 100, and this is the 76 to 100. So it essentially stays exactly the same, but now Elite 1 is 27 wins, Elite 2 is 25, I think Elite 3 is 23, Gold 1 is uh, I think 20, Gold 2 is like 17, Gold uh, 3 is like 13, and you can see I think it just reduces by 20% each time. So with looking at it, it looks like it's exactly the same rewards and you get the 4, uh, I think it just translates to informed player picks. I'm not entirely sure, but if you're German and you can translate it, please do. Uh, but if we look at this a little bit closer, uh, this is what's replacing the monthly rewards. So I think it'll be four player picks that you get to choose from of the informs for that month, which is fantastic. It will all be untradeable. They'll be red and I'm super excited for it. And I think in total, this is one of the best updates they've ever had for the game. So if you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.